Hello YouTube, this is Blacklink83. Um, this is a response video because several of you have been asking questions about the Panasonic SDR S26, um, wondering about its compatibility with Windows Movie Maker. And um, what I'm just going to do is show you how I did it, how I've uploaded my videos, and um, Hopefully this will answer some of your questions. I don't do it the normal way, let's say. The e, uh, most simplified way. But, hopefully this will give some of you a idea of how to make things easier. And, hopefully give some of you, of those of you who are uh, still wondering about this, um, more reassurance. So, here we go. Um, what I'm going to do is first turn it on. And it does have the 0.8 uh, quick start if you select that, but that's only if you keep the camcorder on the whole time. Uh, but, you know. So that can be coming handy if you're in a situation where you would think you might need to quickly whip this out. But, as you can see, if you go to video playback here, there is nothing. Oh, uh, let's wait, except for that. I uh, did a test before this. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Um, and so, now there's nothing. And I'll just go ahead and take a quick five second video. And go to video playback. And here it is. Yep, nothing special there. Just seven seconds. Um, and what I'm going to do is show you how I upload. And basically what I do is turn it off and then open up, take the SD card out and just if any of you care, it's a SanDisk 8GB SDHC card, Class 2. Uh, it's got the little lock here, as most of them do. And here I'm going to show you how you upload it to Windows Movie Maker using this. Okay, so um, now that I have that, I will now show you how I do this, and I'm just going to do a screen recording here. Though you can't see this, what I'm going to do is put my uh, SanDisk SDHD card into the card reader on my laptop. I know this is, uh, not all of you will have this, but most somewhat modern uh, computers, laptops, will have uh, a uh, um, Jeez, card reader. Even the cheap ones, like the three-in-one, will have at least they'll have a H, uh, SD for sure. And um, and but mine's a five-in-one. And for any of you who are wondering, this is a HP DV6 1050 US computer. Um, and you can I have another review on this. You can. You can go to my videos and watch a review on this computer if you want to learn more about the specs because I don't want to have to repeat all that because it's a lot. So what I'm going to do is I plugged it in and autoplay came up. Uh, I will go to import pictures using Windows and it's just reading it and I only have one video on there so that's it is. I'll just call this a test Windows Movie Maker video. And I want to make sure to save that to OK. Import. And I have this erase after importing, of course. No point having it if I already put it on the computer. And there it is. Um, and, you know, as I've mentioned mentioned in some of the comments, it is M-O-D 
file. And uh, that is a strange file. Uh, but if you do record in um, uh, web mode, it is a... I'm not quite sure what it is, but it is a file more commonly accepted. And so, MOD file, haven't done anything with it. No modifications, no anything. Close that all. And now I'm going to go to Windows Movie Maker. Uh, that's an old one, actually. And go to Import Media. And, oh. This is the file where I put it. Uh, to view it, you'll have to go to All Files. Not All Media Files, All Files. And it, there it is. And it's importing. There it is, right there. Uh, no modifications, no nothing done to it. I... I have no idea why some of you have some problems. It was so easy for me. I never thought I'd have so many comments. So I'll just drag it down here. Press play. There's a video. Yeah. And if you really want me to go through this, I will publish it. This computer. File name. Test Windows Movie Maker video. Save it to that fold that folder. Since this is very short, it should the publish should go very quickly. Um, so I mean, I can help you all with any other questions. Still, post them on please on this video. I any post you put on the other video, I will probably try and redirect by posting a link to this. Play movie when I click finish, that'll work. I'll just play it for you guys. No problems whatsoever with it. There it is. Shaking. Yep, so there you have it. That's how I, I just a brief recap, I took the SDHC card out, plugged it into my card reader, um, on autoplay, I clicked view or import pictures with using Windows, um, and it'll it, it won't just import the pictures; it'll import both pictures and videos you take with this camcorder, and um, saved it to a folder, and then uploaded it directly to Windows Movie Maker, and you can do whatever editing you want here. I mean, I can just, you, you can do whatever video editing you want. Um, I just made a brief run through, did this quickly, just showing that Windows Movie Maker will take it. And, and so that seemed to work, as you can see. Still, any questions, I'll answer them. I hope you, I hope this answered some of your questions. And so, enjoy.